Peter gets out of the boat to walk across the water and he falls in. Yes. I gotta imagine Jesus laughed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back with the author of And Then We Rise. The man is common. Now, common. You you talk about reading some scriptures every day. What what do you have a favorite verse? Well, um, one of my favorite verses is from 1 Corinthians um, 13, and it talks about love, and it, and it says love is kind. Um, love keeps no record of wrongs. Um, and, it's, and it goes on to say, you can have faith and hope, but love is the greatest of these. Mm -hmm. And I love, you know, like, it makes me think about how to practice love, like how really to do it. Like, when it says you keep no record of wrongs, think about that. That's it, love is kindness, like like when you so you keep about, no records of wrongs. So love and marriage are not necessarily the same thing. No, they're not. They're because they're, 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 even in a good marriage, there's a scoreboard sometimes. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But in a good love, it's like okay, you did that. I'm gonna tell you what happened, but I'm not gonna hold that against you. Mm -hmm. And that's you know, to me, like as a human being, I want to be at that level. I'm not always there, but I know what to do and I know how to to practice it to get there. And those scriptures help just being around, surrounding myself with that type of energy and just holding myself accountable and also not beating myself up when I don't do it. Mm -hmm. You know, just recognizing I can do better the next time. So, As Jesus said, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect, baby. <laughs> nobody's perfect, yeah. Now, speaking of scripture, one of the things that I, I like to read that actually gives me peace is I love to read poetry. And I found out that you, you had a, a long and fruitful relationship with Maya Angelou. Here you are at your 82nd birthday in 2010. Yeah. A giant, Man. a giant of American letters. And I'm, cur I'm curious, how did you first get to know her? Well, I was supposed to be a part of uh, a benefit, I was a part of a benefit, and one of the major people had dropped out of the benefit. Um, it was a fundraiser. And somehow my mother just said, you know what I'm gonna do? Like, I'm gonna call Dr. Maya Angelou. And I'm like, you don't even know Dr. Maya Angelou. What are you talking about? What year is this? How long ago? This was, this was like in 2000 and, this was 2009. Okay. And she literally, my mother got in touch with Dr. Maya Angelou and, and said, hey, we want to see if you would be open to being a part of this benefit. My son is Common, and she really didn't know who Common was, but her grandson did. So she invited me over to have to have a lunch with her at mm -hmm. her apartment in Harlem, mm -hmm. and we sat there for hours. And I was just like, man, I'm sitting with mm -hmm. the person who really started me to writing. Like, wow. Dr. Myangelo is the is when I was in elementary school, she was the writer that I remembered that made me want to write. So you're a poet and she's a poet. You guys sit there and trade bars? I mean, we, we definitely got bars. She'll give you bars and bars, but <laughs> I, I'm, I wasn't, wasn't at her level. But she did let me freestyle at a, at a birthday party, which was cool, you know. Uh, I gave her some bars then, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, as, as part of your efforts in, in, in this message uh, for self-love, not only for yourself, but, but for the the African American, the black community, yes. you have this thing called, a campaign called Make One Change. What is that? Yeah, Make One Change. It's just, it's reinforcing what, what I'm talking about and, and, and then we rise. It's like, this is not a thing where like, yo, you gotta be a vegan. Or you gotta, it's just, just take one step towards bettering yourself. It could be, hey, I'm gonna drink some more, more water today or I'm not gonna be on the phone as soon as I wake up. Like, I'm, I'm actually gonna take some time to myself. I'm not gonna just wake up and look at my phone. Or it might be like, you know what, I'm gonna let some people know that I love them this, this day. Or, or I'm gonna exercise, I'm gonna take walks. Whatever you do, one step, one, one, make one change. Because for me, that's all it was, was, I took one step. And ironically, I started learning about health and wellness through hip hop. And I took that step and it was like, wow, okay. I started feeling like a power, like wait, if I can stop eating these certain foods, it helped me when I when it came down to like I didn't have to drink as much. As I, I can go out socially and just enjoy myself and don't always have to drink. It helped me in disciplining myself to working towards my my visions and my goals. So I want the one, you know, the one change to do to just be that step for each and every individual. It's just part of a movement because I as we release the book, I want people to be action in, into the action of the book. Well, the book is and. Then We Rise. It's available Tuesday. The man is common, everybody. Common, thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back with comedian Stephen Wright.